Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, today I'm doing the infantry only challenge, but before I get started, I just wanted to say it's 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. I, w I woke up like an hour ago, so my voice might sound a bit weird, and I apologize for that. And I also apologize for the mobile gameplay. I will be getting a laptop soon, so you will be seeing uh, PC gameplay soon. So once again, I apologize for the mobile gameplay, but that's pretty much what I have to work with right now. So let's dive right into it. So the infantry only challenge, essentially what I can do is I can only use in units under the infantry tech tree in the research tab. So, so as you can see, I only have level 2 infantry researched and I'm currently researching a level 1 motorized infantry. And I can also use secret units just like everyone else in this challenge. So I have level 1 rocket artillery and level 1 rockets. By the way, I'm playing as Belgian Congo, so I'm under the Axis Doctrine. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And then over here, L29, L99, he's all of the people that I'm playing with. They're from the Doggo Gang Alliance, which I'm a part of. So L29, so, sorry, L99, he's playing as Belgian Congo. And he is basically doing air of only secret, of course, and then uh, Pooch the Alliance leader, he is doing ordnance only, so artillery, anti-tank, anti-air, SP artillery, SP anti-tank, SP anti-air, all of that. And so he's in Goa, and, and then Benchuana land is being played by Finian7, and then Otto is playing as South Africa, so... Looks like he and Madagascar are competing over Mozambique, so he's sending his ships over. Yeah, Lotto, so Lotto's doing naval units only, and Finian's doing tanks, and the reason he has artillery down there is because he's asked Pooch to send some down there to help him out. Also, we can use all of our starting units up until day 3, but after that, out of our starting units, we have to ditch... We, ha we have to retreat all of our like non-infantry units to only use them for defensive purposes and also uh, for the players here that are doing air or naval only I believe it is uh, they get to use armored cars too to capture territory so that's it and then I've taken out Cameroon just this once one central province here it rebelled, so I'm taking that back. And then it also has this one island left, Salatome, so... And it has a supply dropping real quickly. And in all of my cities, I have a le level 2 barracks. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade that. Because the higher level my barracks are in 1.5, the quicker that I can build stuff and ooh okay this is kind of expensive however I should be able to afford it because I can sell a bunch of this metal that I will not be needing so let me quickly just sell some and yeah so essentially I will not be needing oil so I can just trade it away to my allies or I can sell it so that's a nice thing about the infantry only so you know there are some resources that you just simply do not have to upkeep so I like that about this challenge it like you don't have to worry about certain resources so yeah that's pretty uh, unique about that and I think in the future I'll be doing other challenges where like tanks only or artillery only that kind of thing but yeah, so far I am enjoying this challenge quite a bit, and if, if you guys want to like try it out for yourself, I recommend that you do so with some friends, because it is quite fun, or you could try going all solos, but 
that probably won't be quite as easy but it will be a challenge i think now personally i'm not gonna go all solos i just feel like i'd screw up in like the first five days but i don't know maybe one day i'll try that but yeah so i'm just gonna oops so i just want to sell a bunch of this oil so that i can get 8k more food that is a lot of food but i don't really need this oil even though i'm selling it at a terrible rate right now also so something i noticed about 1.5 is you don't really start off with that many resources and i wish that you started off with more but i but it is real it is more realistic though than 1.0 so i guess it kind of makes sense okay so i'm just gonna wait to get more food because this is just taking way too long to buy and sell, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build barracks in Yaoundé in Cameroon's capital. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, but that's what I'm going to be doing here. Also, I was talking with North Sudan and he wanted me to join his coalition, but I made up lame excuses as to why I couldn't do that and... Basically, he got eaten up by South Sudan and Egypt, so, yeah, and then, so, hostilities are rising between Madagascar and South Africa, Ethiopia is expanding, and Egypt as well, as well as Libya, he's expanding into the AI, currently share a border with him, and then, I believe I just sent, like, this one dude here to guard uh, this border, but obviously if South Sudan attacks, I am screwed. Well, not really, I could still defend, and honestly, I think I have the troop numbers to probably win, but it would cause a lot of, uh, damage, so, also, it's French Sudan in Mauritania are going at it, and actually, Lib- uh, sorry, not Libya, Liberia managed to grab a province from French Sudan, so that's quite interesting, never seen that before. And then up in Europe, not much has happened, but Romania has basically united most of the Balkan region, so good for them. And then Finland and that other guy who I can't ever pronounce are going at it. Finland's taken most of his cities, so Finland's doing quite well. Iraq has taken over all of Syria and most of uh, Persia. And then Turkestan seems to be doing too well. I mean, not too well, but pretty well so yeah i'm not really gonna head on over to north america or south america because i don't really care what's going on there right now so that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed then make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode and uh thank you for watching peace out